This segment is sponsored by the Junior League of Richmond. You're invited to the Junior League of Richmond's 75th annual book and author event. They're featuring six authors, and you have two opportunities to enjoy all the fun. Joining us this morning with all the details, Kaylee Perkins, chair of the event, and assistant chair, Deanna Hathaway. It's great to see both of you. You too. Thank you for having us. Happy 75th annual. I know. <laughs> this is exciting. It's a really big deal. Yeah. yeah. We mentioned at the beginning of the show how this is one of the longest or the longest running event of this type in the country. I know you guys are extremely proud of it. Yeah, it started in 1947 here in Richmond at Miller and Rhodes, and it's just kind of blossomed and become this great event, always in the spring here. It's one that everybody looks forward to. For folks who have been there, they know, right? Tickets are already in their pocket. For folks who haven't yet bought tickets, let's kind of go through what the event is all about. Yeah, so it's Thursday, May 7th, so there's actual, an actual luncheon event at the Tuckahoe Women's Club that starts at 1230. Those tickets are limited, so get them now if you want them. Um, and that's just a more intimate setting with the authors, kind of, um, uh, they talk about their books, talk about their experiences, and a short Q&A is offered. And then that evening at the Altria Theater, there's a dinner in the beginning at 5 p.m., which is optional, and then the actual evening program begins at 730 um, where the authors speak for about seven minutes each just about their book, about their writing process, and it's just a really great, fun time. For friends who were with us last week, we mentioned one of the authors each day, and also that was revealed on the 16th in the RTD. But Deanna, let's go through. We've got book covers to show. I know you guys are mega, mega excited and enthusiastic about the lineup this year. We are. It's an awesome lineup. Um, we have six authors and a bonus, a local woman who writes poetry will be there as well. Um, Bob Deans is also local and he will be our MC and he has a book, uh, The Bicycle Man, that's coming out. We have uh, Grady Hendricks with the Southern Book Club's Guide to Killing Vampires, I think if I've gotten that correct. <laughs> Lily Allen with uh, Writers and Lovers. Um, Natalie Jenner with um, the Jane, Jane Austen, Austen Society, mm -hmm. yes, thank you. Our cookbook author is Melissa, I'm gonna blank on her name. Melissa Martin. 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 Martin, yes, with the... Um, Mosquito Supper Club? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, which is also the name of her restaurant in New Orleans, and um, she's writing about uh, preserving the recipes and cooking styles of the bayou. And then we have Fook Tran, who has the most inventive um, title of all called Saigon, and it's about his experiences moving to America and um, feeling sort of the trouble, the challenges he had with assimilation and how literature and music helped him out. Right, and I think now too, it's like, as I'm, I love having a list like this provided of such winning picks, because I'm part of a book club, although anyone in my book club watching right now may be laughing, because I was a little absent last year, but I'm, I'm getting back in the mix. The idea is, get your book club together, and get everybody at the table, get a table at this event, whether or not you do the dinner, or you just come for mm -hmm. the event, and listen to these amazing authors because they share such an intimate background of how they got to be where they are and what propels these books to be created. Yeah, and a lot of these books are already on the top list for the year of books to watch. So you'll also be able to meet them afterwards, get your book signed, kind of mingle, have some champagne and dessert. So it's just a really um, exciting time to just talk to some authors about their writing process. It really is. So there are still tickets left for the luncheon, but that that, that goes like a hot yeah, cake. That's correct. And then the evening event. This is so much fun to have these, and I know Bob Deans must be super jazzed because now he's always the MC for the event, and now he gets to be part of the conversation in a different way. Yeah, we're really happy to have him. He's been our MC for years and years, and when he said he was writing a novel, we just had to extend the invite to him. Well, we're looking for Forward to it. I kind of wanted Melissa to maybe invite us down to New Orleans so that we could do an interview there. I saw, I read an article a couple years ago, I think it was in Garden and Gun, mm -hmm. about this Mosquito Supper Club, and it looks fantastic. There's still time. We could still maybe yes. work this out. And her cookbook is the most beautiful cookbook I've ever seen, full, full of seafood and something that every Virginia person is going to love. Really quickly, we're at, almost out of time, but for Junior League of Richmond, this powers the mission, which is um, women helping women and girls. So the funds raised will go towards our community programs. Critically important, a great event. Ladies, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Can't wait. I'm going to be there in book club. Guess what? 
going to try to bring you along. <laughs> Tickets are on sale now for the Junior League of Richmond's 75th annual book and author event. You have two options. The luncheon coming up May 7th at 12.30 p.m. at Tuckahoe Women's Club, but shake a tail feather because those tickets will go very quickly. Or try the evening program at the Altria Theater. Doors open for that at 5 p.m. Dinner begins at 6 p.m. And the author panel begins at 7.30 p.m. For all the information, visit bookandauthorevent.org. And remember, use the promo code JLR Book Clubs because for your group of five or more, there's special savings. Learn more, visit bookandauthorevent.org and gather that book club. Parties of five or more will enjoy those specially priced tickets. It's going to be exciting. Virginia This Morning returns right after this break. But before we head to break, here's Bill.